Hi, second grade. Welcome back. I'm really excited to have you back in the art room. We're going to start a really, really fun project. And this project is all about you. And there is a really cool twist on this project. Okay, so let's take a look at this portrait. Now, we may not know what a portrait really is. So I want you to kind of look at this and look for clues. You, the art investigators. So for 10 seconds, I want you just to silently look at this painting. Don't take your eyes away. I'll count. I want you just to silently look for clues. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, raise your hand if you'd like to share what you saw. Okay, so I hope that we figured out that a portrait is different because a portrait has people in it. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. What do you think a self-portrait is? Raise your hand and I want one person to guess what a self-portrait might be. Okay, I hope that someone said that a self-portrait is a portrait of you. It's a portrait that the artist created of themselves. Now today, I will be teaching you how to draw a face in proportion. Everyone say proportion. So proportion means that we're using a little bit of our math brain skills to make the face look real. Because everyone can draw a little happy face, but I want to train my second graders on how to make a face look totally real. Here's the twist. We are going to be making Android self-portraits. So it means that you're going to be creating yourself as an Android. Now we all know what robots are, but what are androids? Androids are robots that look and act like humans. Now, an android might look like a person, but are they really a person? I hope you said no, because on the inside, it's just mechanics, it's just a machine. Now, when someone says a robot, they're talking about a machine that does not look like a person. So, because this is a unicorn robot, it is a robot and not an android. Now turn and talk to a partner. I want you to talk about other robots. So talk about machines that do not look like people. Okay, I hope you talked about some really cool machines that you thought of. Um, so think traffic lights or a calculator or a computer. Those are all different types of robots that do not look like a person. Because if a robot looks like a person, then we call it a... I hope you said Android. So today I will be teaching you how to draw an android, or I'm sorry, I'm going to show you how to draw a face today, and then next time we'll work on our androids. You will need your sharpen eraser cup, remember sharpen your pencil over the cup when you need to, and then there's an eraser inside if you need it. You'll need a pencil, and then you need a piece of paper. I'm going to go ahead and give you all about one minute to sharpen your pencils over the cup, and just give me a thumbs up if you're ready and I will know that I am ready to move on. Now, people have all sorts of different types of faces. Some people have a rounder face, some people have an oval, most people have an oval. You may have an oblong shape, you might have more of a square kind of shape, and you might have a triangular kind of face. Now, it isn't a real square or a real triangle, it's more of a rounded shape. Um, most people tend to have an oval. So what I want you to do with your sharpened pencil, I'm gonna wait for this to focus, is I want you to draw yourself a big ol' oval. Sorry, draw yourself a big ol' oval. I like to make my oval a little bit more narrow at the bottom so it looks more like a chin. Your face, your oval or whatever shape of face you chose to do should be just about as big as your hand. That's how you know you did it as big as you did. If you need to start over, you can turn it over on the back, um, but go ahead and try to draw your face. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. Okay, awesome. So now that we have our face, let's go ahead and write our names on the side that you're choosing to do, which, whichever face you'd like better, the one on the front or the one on the back if you decide to do another one. I'm gonna write my name. 
And then I'm also going to write my class code. I will write the class code on the board now so that you know it. And then we will continue on when everyone has their name and class code right next door. Okay, thank you so much. So now it's time to start using proportion. Now this will sound a little bit weird. It's not gonna look like a face at first. It's gonna look kinda like a crazy madman face. What you're gonna do is you're going to draw a line all the way down like this, right through the middle. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. So we split our face into two different parts. What do we call that in fractions? I hope you said halves. So now it's time to split our face into fourths. You're gonna find about the middle of this line right here on the left. So I'm gonna go ahead and put myself a little dot to help remind me and find about the middle right over here. We're gonna draw a straight line across. So this is gonna turn from a vertical line into a horizontal line crossing over a vertical line which makes kind of like a plus sign. So go ahead and do what kind of looks like a plus sign with your face and then give me a thumbs up when you're ready. Awesome guys. So now this will be a little bit tricky. We have these two lines right here. So I have this line, stop, and then this line, stop. In the middle of those lines, I just want you to do a little dash that goes up. So a little vertical line that goes up. This is where the eyes are gonna go. And I know that seems a little weird because we have all this head up here and we always think of our eyes a little bit higher, but at the very end, this will all look right, I promise. So I'm gonna go ahead and do two ovals on their side, just like this, around those dashed marks. Now, let me ask you a question. Do people have crosses in their eyes? I hope you said no, because if I ever saw that, I'd probably be pretty scared. I want you to take your eraser and just erase whatever's inside that oval. We don't need it right now. Now, this doesn't have to be perfect, guys. We are just practicing for next time when we create our androids, um, but for right now, I need you to erase what's inside the eye because we're gonna put stuff there later. Thumbs up when you're ready. Awesome. So now we're gonna look at this line right here from the center down to the chin. I want you to try to draw a little dash right in the middle. So this is gonna be the end of our nose. I'm gonna show you some different ways that you can do your nose. Some people just like to do a little C for their nose. I personally like to do a C like that and then do two itty bitty C's on the other side. Um, that's how I like to do mine. But if you're feeling extra super fancy, you can take this and bring it all the way to the center and that will look like a totally real nose. So it's kind of up to you how you wanna do your nose. Do whatever fits you. I want you to try something new today. Give me a thumbs up once you have your nose. Awesome. So now we're gonna go in between the nose and the chin. I'm gonna show you where we're gonna put the mouth. Try to find the middle of that line, and then you're gonna draw a little bit longer line. This is going to be the mouth. Now, most people have lips. This person does not have lips. If you wanna do some lips, you could try doing a line that goes up like a hill and then down like a hill on both sides of that line, and then do one big hill on the bottom and that will look like lips. Now you can make those lips smaller. You don't have to include lips because not everyone has full lips, but I'll let you go ahead and make your mouth. Maybe you don't wanna do that. Maybe you want to do a big ol' letter D for teeth. Maybe you just wanna do a circle for a mouth because they're in shock. They're like, ah! So now it's time for us to go back to the eyes. So inside of our eyes, we have what's called the iris. So that's just a little circle, but inside of the iris, there's a black circle. Does anyone know what that's called? Just go ahead and shout out. I hope you said pupil. So if you want to go ahead and draw your pupil in there, and that will look like your eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye. I'll do a little circle, and then a pupil inside. There, Just so go ahead and give me a thumbs up once you have your eyes. Um, when you are done with your eyes today, you can always go back. You maybe want to do an eyelid so it looks maybe like your guy or girl is a little bit more sleepy. 
and I'll do that now just because I want to. Now, there's something that goes over the eyes. What do we call that? It's made of hair. I hope you said eyebrows. So when I do my eyebrows, you can do it different ways. I, for guys, we tend to just have very flat eyebrows. I'm just gonna do a little rectangle for mine. But let's say you have more of a curved brow. Maybe you wanna do more of like a curved shape. Kind of up to you. Maybe go ahead and take a look at a friend or the partner at your table. Ask a friend, is my eyebrow more straight or is it more curved? Go ahead and ask a friend. Thumbs up when you're done. Awesome job, guys. We are almost done. Now, this person can see, they can smell, they can taste, but they need something to hear. What do we call those? I hope you said ears. So for me, the easiest way to do ears is just do a little C on the sides of the eyes, on the side of the face, and that will look enough like ears. Now, it's time to do the hair, but let me ask you a question. Have you ever seen someone walking down the, stri the street and they have a big old cross on their face like this? I hope you said no. It's time for us to erase that. So you can go ahead and erase those lines that we don't need anymore. These lines just help us build our face, but we don't need them anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase the ones I don't need. Now you don't need to erase everything. You are just erasing what you can, what you don't want. And then, all right, get that out of the way. Get that junk off. Now, if you are a boy and you wanna do boy hair, you can. Or if you're a boy, you wanna do a girl, that's okay. Or if you're a girl and you wanna do a boy face, that's fine. Um, if I'm doing short hair, like guys tend to have, I might just draw some lines for my hair right above the eyebrow. I know that seems kind of crazy. It always feels like our eyes are higher, but when we look at our face as a whole, our hair is only on the top of our head. So I'm gonna put a little bit here, but maybe you wanna do a girl. So maybe on this side, I'm gonna do maybe like kind of a girl's hairstyle or a longer hairstyle. I might do more lines. Maybe the lines go out. That way it looks a little long. So kind of crazy hair. Maybe you wanna do a hat. That's okay too. Once you have all that figured out, uh, you need something. Do you ever see faces floating in the sky? I hope not because that would be really scary too. You need to add a neck. The easiest way to add a neck is just do a line down vertical and then make it go out. So let me hold my camera. You need to go out to the sides of the paper and that will look like what? I hope you said shoulders and you can do the same thing on this side. It's okay if you go through your name. So now I have the shoulders. You can even do a little shirt. Also think about what you wanna do in the background. Maybe your person's at a bowling alley. Maybe they're playing laser tag. How can you show me that in the background? Today, your job is you want to finish your sketch. This will be a sketch practice for the next time when we meet and we make our Android. Also use color. You can use crayons, you can use markers, and I will also have colored pencil on the table for you. This will be a lot of fun and I think that you will really have a good time and learn a lot during this project. So I'm excited to see what these look like. You guys have a great day.